What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Natto. I want to thank you all for stopping by the video today. I really do appreciate the views and if you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. As you can see, we have a very, very special shoe in hand for you guys today. The extremely limited Air Jordan 10 Soulfly. Soulfly is a sneaker boutique down in Miami and for their 10th anniversary, they went with creating their own Jordan 10 that is rumored to be extremely limited, around only a thousand pairs in existence. This is one of them right here and shouts out to a friend of mine. These dropped randomly around nine o'clock Eastern time back on May 10th for a retail price of 200 bucks. I saw the notification a little late, so I missed out on a pair. My friend picked them up. He got this pair in and was kind enough to pass them along for a video here. He was so glad to pick them up, wanted me to check them out. So again, shouts out to him. But for today, what we're going to do is dive into the shoe, take a look at it both up close and on feet. As this is my friend's pair, it's not my typical pair and typical sizing. So it's a little off, but close enough where we'll still do the on feet, check it out with a couple different styling options and take a full dive into the shoe. So like I mentioned, Soulfly is a boutique down in Miami. They created this shoe all around aspects of Miami as well. So it's very cool, very nice looking shoe. And like I said, just extremely, extremely limited. So without you know saying too much more here, let's just jump into the video and start checking out the shoe. So let's go and take a look at the Soulfly Jordan 10. And here we are with the sneakers. So of course, before we dive into the shoes themselves, let's take a look at this box. This is a special box here. And on the size tag, we do have Air Jordan 10 Retro SP in Sale, Turbo Green, and Mushroom. This does not have the price tag attached to it, but again, it was 200 US dollars, you know, direct from Soulfly. On the top of the box, you know, on the front here, we got a Nike Air logo. On the actual top of the box itself, we got Air Jordan and the Jumpman in sort of that turbo green color. And it's just a box that opens up just like that. It does have some paper in it. It's kind of the same tinted color as the box. It's a little hard to see in the lighting, but that's about it. No other kind of special branding and uh, nothing from Soulfly either. Just that's it in terms of the box. But now onto the shoes themselves here, starting from the lateral side, even from, you know, this angle here and zooming closer, you can see there's this really nice looking suede all across the shoe. The shoe is meant to be designed after Miami's Freedom Tower. And starting from the bottom here, you have this translucent outsole, which has some interesting parts to it that we'll take a look at in a little bit here. But as you can see, it's translucent, moves up to this all white midsole piece for that Jordan 10 silhouette. As we move up further, we got two different shades of that suede. It's really, really nice material. You know, we can see the lighter portion towards the bottom and then this darker kind of brown uh, more towards the top. The laces are the same color. Here's a shot at the toe box and zooming in, you guys can really get a good look at that suede. But that is gonna round out the lateral side here. Onto the medial now, you know, hopefully you guys can get a good look and see here. The shoe really isn't that, you know, crazy. It's very simple in terms of what is actually made up on the shoe. Again, it's just so much of this suede on the very, you know, upper of the sneaker here in the two different shades going along with that Jordan 10 pattern. We got that white midsole a little bit thicker on the medial side. And again, looking at that translucent outsole here as well. So a clean and simple design for this Soulfly Jordan 10, but very nice materials, you know, at first glance diving in so far. The only other thing to mention here is the shoes did actually come with three additional sets of laces, you know, just on the shoes here. I guess we got that turbo green, this kind of darker brown mushroom color and a nice white. So a lot, a lot of different options here. Always love to see that. Onto the front of the shoes here. Again, you know, nothing real crazy until you notice it up top. But, you know, starting from the bottom here, we got that suede moving up to those laces on this tongue. And then at the top of the tongue is where you see it, the subtle detail and the change on the top of the tongue that makes it really, really nice. As you can see in this same suede pattern on the tongue and kind of this mushroom color, we got Soulfly and 10. So again, to represent the Jordan 10 and to represent 10 years in business for Soulfly, we'll take another look at what's behind the tongue, which is gonna show another aspect of that as well. Before that, however, we are gonna look at the back of the shoe. And again, you know, the suede wrapping around. Only difference here is of course on the right shoe, you got that Jumpman and that turbo green, but then on the left shoe, you got Soulfly's logo. So awesome, awesome addition there. Nice, subtle touch, keeping consistent with the rest of the shoe. Now turning the flash on, getting the shoes loosened up a bit and moving inside the sneaker. First thing we'll take a look at is this inner liner. So on both insides of the sneaker here, it's a very, very nice, very soft leather on the inner liner. And on the back of the tongue, you know, you can get a look at that, some of that kind of pre-creasing right out of the box, beautifully nice and, and soft there. And then on the back of the tongue, we have this awesome looking patch 
surrounded in that turbo green. It says, inspired by our amazing run these 10 years, 10, 20, the Jumpman, 2010 to 2020, all on the Jordan 10. Awesome touch there. It's the same on both sneakers. You can see both tongues. And then as we move further inside and take a look at the insole, it is sort of like a whitish color. We got this white patch where it says Soulfly 10th anniversary, 2010 to 2020. Again, in that turbo green with that turbo green Jumpman as well. And then moving it to the side, it's gonna be a little difficult to see, but the size tag here for the numbers and information, just because of the angle here, um, there's at least a shot of it where you can see some of the style code there for the numbers and information. And lastly here, we can take a look at this outsole. This was what I mentioned we were coming back to again. And first off, you can see it's translucent, like I mentioned earlier, and you can see some writing on the right shoe here. And as you move down, there's some other colors and patterns underneath. So what it's actually meant to be is a newspaper from the Miami News. And it's a really cool, you know, touch and design here. It is unfortunately a little difficult to make out what it says. But, you know, you guys can pause the video, take a look if you like. But then at the bottom, we got this turbo green Jumpman still on both sneakers. And of course, all the accomplishments of Jordan still on the Air Jordan 10 outsole. So no different, just using the translucent design to show the newspaper of the Miami News underneath. Very cool touch here. And I do like that. And finally, now we have wrapped up taking an up close look at the Soulfly Jordan 10. So now it's time to get them laced up and I'll show you guys what they look like on feet. So now there we have it for the Air Jordan 10 Soulfly on feet. So like I've been mentioning, you know, this is a very solid shoe. It's got some very, very nice materials on it. Yet at the same time, it's just pretty plain and simple. You know, just from a far away, if you took a look at the shoe, it obviously doesn't have anything, you know, outright that kind of tells you it's a little bit different than any other Air Jordan 10. Potentially, of course, the thing on the back, you know, if you catch the Soulfly logo, you're going to know what it is. But otherwise, it's just a pretty plain and simple looking Air Jordan 10. Of course, as you take a look at at it up close, like I mentioned, you see the really nice suede, you see the small details on it, you feel the nice leather inside. You obviously check out the, the back tab and the bottom as well, but you gotta take a close look at it. So I think there's two different things that I'm balancing here. You know, the overall quality of the shoe, which I definitely really enjoy, but then at the same time, it is just kind of plain and simple. And I kind of envision my shoes when I think about it, you know, take a look at them up close, but then also kind of from far away when you take a look at, at them on feet, whatever it might be. So I think there's two sides of it here. I don't really have a problem with them at all. I don't think it's an issue that they are kind of plain. It is kind of nice at the end of the day, you know, it's plain and simple. It's not crazy. It's not elaborate, but it's subtle and nice. So I really don't have a problem with it. If we talk about the silhouette in general, though, about the shoe itself, of course, this is the Air Jordan 10. I've reviewed other Air Jordan 10s on my channel, and, you know, it's a solid silhouette. It's, it's probably not one of my top favorite Jordan models, but it's definitely somewhere in the middle. It's a solid shoe. It's a, it's a good shoe. It does fit true to size. It gets more comfortable over time with wear, 
and it looks good with shorts. It looks good with pants. You know, you can style it well. And this colorway definitely works for the summer too. So I think all, you know, it's pretty solid about it at the end of the day. But now if I had to give you guys my final rating and opinion on a scale out of 10 here, out of 10, I'm going to go an 8 out of 10. That feels right to me. Like I said, it's it, there's nothing really revolutionary at the end of the day when you take a look at it. You know, if someone were to view it, they might not even know exactly what it is because it's just kind of so plain and simple. Once you boil down to it and take a look at it, it's really nice. You know, it's got some awesome quality to it, some awesome features, some in-depth kind of storytelling as well. And I think it's pretty well done. You know, I... Personally, for me, I just don't have the strongest tie to SoFly. I bought some stuff from there. I've never really been to the store, so you know it's not a shoe I'm extremely passionate about. Of course, the people down in Miami, people who shop at the store, totally get it. It's probably a shoe you guys really want. You know, whether you got it, maybe you missed out. Whatever the case, it, it's definitely cool. So I, I really don't have a problem with it at all. I think it's an eight out of ten in my opinion, from my perspective and my my point of view here. But overall, I think it's a good shoe. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your opinions on the sneaker as well. Your thoughts about it, you know, on feet, up close, whatever it might be, share those down there. Otherwise, you guys can chat with me over on social media. The links to those are in the description below as well. Other than that, I think that's going to wrap up the video for today. So I want to thank you one final time for joining me today. And again, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does, you know, help the channel grow and expand. So thank you one final time and I'll catch you guys again real soon on the next video.